Queenie is representing Team Emongus. She's selected Diamond as her lobby. Permanent jumping. Your hero will also swap every minute. As you can see, the timer above my head. And then increase respawn timer. So should she die, it's going to be 20 seconds before she respawns again. What do we think, gamers? Do we believe? I want to see it in the Twitch chat. I want to see it in the future YouTube comments. Do you believe in the Emongus? Can Queenie do it? And if you really believe, yeah. drop some support What's in chat with them subs and donos. All going to a good cause. Let's see how it goes. I love the look of our team. I think we're going to do fantastic. So it's going to be Moira, Bap. I mean, like, you, like, like Squeenie was saying, you don't really want to pay too much attention to the comp here because it's going to switch. But a bit of an odd comp on our side. The other team are tryharding. Everyone on the enemy team is always tryharding. Like the red teams are tryharding so much in the rank all it. But you love to see it. We don't want easy wins. We want challenging games. Yeah. Oh my god. Speaking of challenging, We're our Diva's off. taking a lot of damage. Yeah, both are DPS are behind. Oh so you guys should win the frontline battle. Uh, you say that. I'm not done. I'm not done. Wait, I'm not done. More one, more one, more one. I can go back to me though. More ice, more one, more one. Oh, wow. They're low, they're low, they're low. Oh, huge. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go. That is a fast ultimate. And on top of that, I'm glad that her Cole ended before her hero swap. So this is going really well, but we're starting to drop to the Queen ult. Oh boy. Ooh, oh boy. I, got I put Queen inside. Oh, oh. unfortunate. Though. So actually our team played that wrong. We should not have played in the room against the Junker Queen there. We should have actually poked from the outside with the Cassidy and let that come through. Brawling in there with the Junker Queen was a bad idea and we got punished for it. 30 seconds of mercy. Sounds like a ban to be honest, but... A metal ban. Got all of him? Some friends, oh, some wow. friends back. Help, help. <laughs> Rencia just does not quit with the solo ulting. But that wasn't a solo EMP. But she loves EMP in the corner craters, man. She loves being evil. Oh, oh my I'm, goodness. They missed the bomb on me. Yeah, yeah, they missed it. Oh, wow. They're all trying to dive bomb. Thank you. We can this. Oh my goodness, this is stressful. Take the mega, take the mega, take the mega! Oh, it's hacked. Fuck, never Huge. mind. Everybody stay alive. It's no. Minus, guys. We are getting absolutely Good mobbed. Effort. Effort. We are getting this mobbed. This is just a warm up round, guys. It's okay, it's okay. Surely. I can try and touch, but I can't promise anything. I'm mobbing you. Uh -uh. When you know your team comp is going to swap essentially with the support, I think the better thing to do is go for like a pokey kind of comp because if you click dive or brawl and then your support is like mercy, you just kind of lose. Whereas, I mean, I suppose you can make a dive mercy work, but it's 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 harder. Whereas if you're playing poke, even if you get like a Moira, it's still okay. It's still doable. They should just try and play like a more individualistic pokey comp and go from there and dodge the brawl. They're running like this hard, aggressive, all-in kind of strat. And you just need to dodge that. They're chasing. <laughs> I'm this in comp, it seems. I'm looking at their Lucio right now. Very slow. I'm gonna uh, make it. I wanna read. There's no read. There's no read. Lucio low. I'm getting the Lucio. Nice. We need that inspire. We need that inspire so badly. I think I would whiff every flail when I'm jumping all the time. Low. No fate. Above, 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 above. We're right side oh, here. Nice. There we no go. There we go. Ah. No read. There's no read. Yeah, there's no read. Finger? She's up top. Oh, okay. She's going back. You might bonk oh him. I feel like Queenie's getting turned around a bit too much. Like there's too many people making her look everywhere. Oh. Nice. nice good move. Good move. Just in time. <laughs> yeah, that was really in time. Oh, oh, we're dead. I'm getting hacked. The 30% is a good start. I don't know how much more we'll even get of Lucio at this point. We'll get a speed out of spawn. Good thing is she kept her ult. So even on Lucio or maybe whatever that she gets, probably she gets her ult in the next hero. But a B drop could be good if she gets it in time. I'm with you, Reaper. Yeah, oh. Go. Actually, we should just go Lucio. Lucio. Ah, oh, oh, crap. Oh, I got lost on mold. That's on there. Okay, winnable, winnable. Huge! They missed, uh, they missed the bomb. Queenie before the swamp. No worries. Nice. I don't know if Queenie realized that she's keeping her old charts. I don't know if she needed to do that beat. I think Queenie is suffering on the heroes that she's not comfortable with. She didn't look comfortable on Lucio and Brig. And I think an Iliari ult would have gone hard here for the next point. Oh, More nice thing. Uh-oh. Yeah, Diva needs to not take that much vote. 
Oh boy, oh I'm boy. I'm out of heals, I'm out of heals. Oh, reposition, reposition the pylon. Okay, we're getting oh. a green ult here, I, I reckon, as well. Fuck, we're dead. Okay, they used a lot there. That's all their ults. Okay, we're up to 71, nice. and we've got we've got Kitsune Rush. We're not gonna get another life on Iliari, I don't think. So, I think it depends on what our next hero swap is. Probably like a Zen, I guess, and Zen would be good. One good nade on the jump screen could, could win us right. the fight, honestly. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Okay, Good I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. I all think right. we Kitsune Rush, just rush. Ooh. Kitsune rush early, Kitsune rush early, fuck. No, the jumping is gonna be throwing off our aim so much. Reloading. Yeah, we're gonna get this come down to this fight basically. We need the Kitsune rush. See, they've already started building toward their EMP now. Okay, we're fucking here. Oh, nice build, nice build. You guys got this. There's a tracer. Even that? Big killing their tank first is huge. One by one. Oh, that's actually a great swap. Thank you. Lucy has one on the left. Ambo that's peace now. That's a great swap, honestly. You guys got one? Tracer's half. Going to the left side. Nice. nice. nice, nice, nice. We I almost have our window. Oh, huge kill. That's a massive oh, kill. Nice. Our Zarya's going crazy. Tracer, um, Tracer will touch. Please take yeah. care. It's just going left. I'm chasing her. Oh, nice hit. Three. All right, oh. I'm coming to spawn. Oh no, we used our ult! Yeah. Fuck, we windowed! Oh, huge bubble. Huge bubble. That's a huge bubble. Huge clutch. You got huge this, you got clutch. this. Please for one. Oh, nice. Just the queen. Huge bubbles. Nice, well played. I got Senyatas, I'll be there in 17 years. <laughs> nice. Our Zarya actually really did great. All, all, our entire team did great there, but our Zarya went great there. Like, totally the swap and dominated the Junker Queen pick. And it comes down to this now. I think the, the hero swapping is kind of thrown her off a lot. Because one of the things is sometimes it's better to work your way into a game. Like, the longer you're on a hero, you're like, alright, I'm, I'm adjusting to the permanent jumping, to the time, etc, etc. But... When you're constantly forced to swap, it changes up your modus operandi, so... Because they keep targeting me because my shitty respawn yes. time. Yeah, it's a valid strat. You target the guy who has the longest respawn, it's, it's a big advantage. So Mercy will be hard with that. They're mirroring the Zarya now, though. I reckon they run the same again. No, they're running Zarya. Ooh, they're mirroring me. First one is on the right side. Let me know if you need help, by the way, Mercy. I'll can yeah. try a ball on. Oh, they already hacked the Mega, all right. Oh. I can rest. Probably. Yes. They're rushing you. All tracing. Sorry. All good, all good, all good. Yeah, just quick reset, quick reset. I think what we're seeing in this game is the difference between the red team running a coordinated comp and doing like a certain thing versus the blue team are kind of hanging in about a lot. What they really need to do is like play a strat and if they're either gonna, they either gotta brawl better than them or they gotta like poke better than them. They're kind of hanging around and letting them rush them without doing a lot of poking. What do we got next? Iliari, okay. Right, Iliari coming up. Oh, I messed up. Oh. Big. That's oh. my new My tracer's just behind on our mega. Oh, the oh. tracer is behind. Yeah. We're kind of getting farmed again. Now that they've switched over to Zarya, you can see that the tank line is is working again for the enemy team, and now it's like kind of farming us. That's wasn't a smartest pylon. No, our Zarya. Oh, oh. oh, I'm trying to get back here, but I'm getting rushed. This is tough chat. Ah, oh, boy. It's okay, I it's okay, it's okay. We're just making this a really interesting and fun game for the viewers. This is our last chance, because they've got four ultimates, we've got three. So we, whoever ults better wins this fight. And could have a big impact on this game. I mean, if we oh, lose... I can see your Tracer. Oh, I had phone. I mean, I have... Um, Our Tracer is getting caught out too often as well, which doesn't I help. I think I'm going to break. Come in on break. Uh, I think you have to uh, go it out in this no time. This ends not with a bang, but with a whimper. Uh, I, I can't get you. We I'm just so got sorry. mobbed. We just got mobbed. Oh, yes. oh, good effort, guys. Maybe? Wait, no, wait. wait, the Doom gets a touch. <laughs> oh, is it enough? You got this, I believe in you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Uh, 
Damn. Well played, guys. Well done. Nice try, GG's. GG's. GG. It was fun. It was really tough. Even though it looks like, okay, with the jumping, that can't be so bad. And like the respawn timer, that can't be so bad. But you really feel it in game. <laughs> Especially the stacking and the addition of all these. It's like each of those is making your impact less, less and less and less. Till you're just yeah. kind of like not able to do what you want to do. I definitely underestimated like how impactful each thing was. I think if I would have gone either without the jumping or either without the respawn timer, I think it would have been a little bit easier. 